morning to all of my fishing and outdoor addicts out there. This is Roy Dallas bringing you yet another episode. As you can see, I have a big smile on my face. I did some business traveling over to South America this past uh, week. So after my business trip, I decided to uh, stop back on my way home at Tampa and fish some uh, interesting spots and bring you guys a few more videos and get that channel back on the road where it belongs. Let's see what Florida and Tampa Bay have to offer. Well, I'm finally here at Marty Zoffinger's playground. I'm gonna leave his link to his YouTube channel in the description below. He is a do-it-yourself, pimp your kayak, pimp your boat type of guy. Awesome guy to be around. Great uh, YouTube channel. Highly recommend it. I enjoy watching all of his episodes. He actually lives out of this boat here on the Manatee River in Tampa, Florida. So we're gonna go out on the kayak and we're gonna give this a shot and see if we can land a snook or a redfish or something or another. See you guys out in the water. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the Manatee River, thanks to Mr. Marty Zoffinger, who hooked me up with this really awesome Pelican kayak. I've never actually used a pedal kayak, so it's a new experience for me, as are probably almost all of the fish I might find in here. Nooks and crannies, but not the mangroves. Oh, fishing on the kayak is gonna take a little getting used to. No depth finder, no high-end equipment, just me and the kayak, and hopefully some fish. Oh my God, there's fish busting over there like crazy. Wow, they're all against the break walls. I'm gonna change my bait this time if I don't catch them on this bait. Oh my God, you could hear it. It's like rushing water, like freaking Niagara Falls. <laughs> Let's get him. Hey. Didn't catch anything, but I definitely saw them. I had snook chasers. Huh. Nice. Uh, a massive school of mullet broke out like right in front of me and I cast it in there twice and I could feel something hitting the lure yeah. but no bites mm. just as uh, some local guy was coming by and he said those were all probably uh, jacks really? chasing them Good morning, fishing addicts. It's me, trying to bring you another episode. Yesterday, although I did see the fish and they were jumping in front of me and they were showing themselves to me uh, and I had one little follow but no luck putting anything into the boat, we're gonna go ahead and try again today. This time we're getting out a little bit earlier, just prior to sunset, and we'll, or sunrise I should say, and let's see if things work out any better today. Let's go get him. Try switching this out. See what that will produce. They don't like the tube either. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's see if a chatterbait works here. There's certainly fish here, so. Well, I'm gonna change the game. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep switching my baits until something hits. Oh, I see a tunnel over there heading into a a bigger opening there amongst the uh, the trees. You know what that means. It's adventure time, boys. Boys and girls. We's about to have ourselves a little adventure. See if this bait makes any difference. Oh yeah, there's a chaser. Two of them. They came right up to the boat. Right up to the boat, saw the bait. Nah. Got one. Oh, this is gonna be nasty, toothy mother ah. to get off. Yeah, there he is. Gone. 
and better so. Woo! So, I think I figured the trick out. It was basically throw the bait, match the hatch, and just pause it. And that's when he bit on the pause. See if we can catch another one. All right, this is called the Devil's Elbow, and it's going to be our last. Oh my God, they're busting everywhere. Ooh, it's hard to say. The last spot before we take a break for the afternoon, head over to Bass Pro and get another rod. I got a nothing. I got a nothing. Do you want a nothing? Just go fishing with me. You're gonna get nothing. Jack, kid, call. Nothing. Fish are busting. Roar Dallas is heading right over. Hang on to your titties. Well, I decided to take a break in the uh, hottest part of the day here. And what better place to spend that than at Bass Pro Shops. I'm gonna go grab some grub and something to drink and uh, head on in there, purchase a new rod because I busted mine. Maybe a few other things like a dry t-shirt. And uh, then we'll head on back to Marty's and see if we can catch anything in the evening bike. Well, you guys know the level of success I've been having, so I walked into the Bass Pro Shops and asked for some advice, picked up a new rod for the one that I busted, so I'll have at least two baits going at the same time. And uh, here's what Buddy suggested. I've got some uh, soft plastic imitations for shrimp. I got some uh, suspending twitch baits. He suggested suspending twitch baits. So I got a couple of colors and some uh, sea shad paddle tails along with the right jig heads. And what they really recommended, which we don't have in Canada, is this Pro Cure Super Gel. Pro Cure Super Gel. We're gonna test it out, see if it works. So I actually had a guy, a uh, customer that came up to me and had said that uh, the Pro Cure was the best stuff he ever used. I'm uh, running to get some grub and get back on the river, see if that stuff actually works. I have good vibes about it. Let's go check it out. So this is it, I'm picking up my lunch here at Fuzzy's Tacos. Uh, promised to be one of the best places. I'm gonna check it out and I'll let you guys know. All right, let's get out there and give this new bait stuff a go and see what happens. Fishing had been a lot tougher than I originally anticipated, but I wasn't giving up. I had snapped a rod in half, lost several baits on snags, and gotten myself trapped and entangled on a few occasions having to cut my line and roll back against the current. Day two was winding up, clouds were building up quickly, and I soon had to return the kayak. I was almost back at the dock, my chesty died, and then this happened. Yeah, a whole bunch of fish were busting and I saw some bigger tails. Well folks, I'm back at the hotel, having my beer, chilling out, relaxing, getting all my things ready for tomorrow. Today was a very long but very interesting day. Certainly learned a whole bunch of new things. Caught two new species of fish. Knocked those off my bucket list, the uh, saltwater gar and the snook. It's very exciting when you uh, land a brand new species and um, you feel like you've accomplished something that you've been learning and studying and you guys have seen that I had to go to Bass Pro Shops, get some advice from some professionals or people that have experience with the Manatee River uh, and it helped to produce 
Uh, the snook that I caught today. Florida is absolutely unbelievable. The people are super nice. It's really been a pleasure to fish here and film here. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, Dallas out.